Alright you guys, today we are continuing on with the Super Mega Man Maker Color Part 2 and we are heading into Inferno Man Man's stage, Inferno Man's stage, whatever. <laughs> yeah, and I think we're gonna go with Bass this time here. Because why the hell not? And let's see, there we go, pick up Bass and... Concrete and this and this and the ring and yeah, we're gonna get the inferno weapon for this stage Wait, hold on a second Did I <laughs> yeah, I forgot that I got the P driver. There. Yeah, we got it from breeze man stage I just had to go and check out the Walkthrough or the guide there on the forums to remind myself. So yeah, Three stages left, we're gonna get the volcanic weapon from this one here. The atomic fire, I should say. And let's just start out with the regular old buster here. I did the visual series so far, and yeah. I'm very happy to see that we have these things here. I can't get enough of them, they are, yeah. Very cool gimmicks added to the game here in the latest patch. And holy crap, dude. We have some heavy hitters here in this level. Well, got rid of him, and the ring boomerang was not too useful. Maybe... Hmm. It's hard to say which weapon would be good against these. Could be like... Huh. Interesting. Well, the concrete shot is not gonna work either. Let's just... Try the regular old buster. Nice, okay, well. Huh. It's not too often that I. Whoa, it's not too often that I decide to rely on Bass's buster, but yeah, it kind of worked out very nicely there just now. And I love how the flames, well, how the Mega Man 1 fire flames are coming up through the fire down there. Yeah, that looks very, very nice. So yeah, like, so far, the level does seem a little bit easier on the gimmick side than other stages, but at the same time, it also seems harder um, in contrast, or well, yeah, in a, in, with the enemy choices, you know, we have a lot of big guys around here. We have a lot of heavy hitters. These guys too are, yeah, quite strong actually. They, they did four damage, I believe, the whole tads here. And I love the pipes there too, which shoot out the fire dudes. And holy crap, that took me by surprise. Oh god, wait. Whoa, holy what the heck? <laughs> okay, this is awesome. Oh, dang it. The lag from the health pad kind of screwed me up there. Nice. Okay, yeah, I like that room. Oh, oh god, I didn't see that one coming. Oh, Jesus. So what do we do here? What? Oh my god, I was gonna jump over this one. Oh my god, dude, the stage... I just said, <laughs> I just made a comment on how it's easier in terms of gimmicks, but now it's quite literally, literally turning up the heat here. And yeah, that guy sees me. Uh, that's not great. Um, here. Nice. Okay, good. Get him out of there. And I responded. Holy crap. Holy hell. I'm so dead. So effing dead. You know what? Yep. That, thank you, and all this health is gonna be necessary. And you know what? Maybe you can actually. Yeah, maybe we can move. Move down here, you know, go to the right, maybe. Yes, okay, well, I'm glad I checked. And what are the odds we can walk? No, I should not have tried. I should have known better. I thought maybe you could 
walk down there. But yeah, that was obviously not the case. <laughs> okay, well, at the very least now we know. And at the very least now we can try and do a little bit better on the flame segments up ahead here. And that's right, these guys have 10 hit points, so... Gonna require 3 shots. Nice! Oh, dude! What? I'm a little bit too antsy right now to get back here. Yeah, we don't want to lose too much health. Oi! Okay. Nice. Oi! <laughs> it would actually probably be easier if you picked Mega Man or Proto Man or even Roll for this one, so you can slide under the flames here at certain points here. But now we're gonna have to make this jump instead. Yeah. I actually wonder... Yeah, look at this, we can sit here. That makes this a lot easier. Nice. Get up here fast before he gets us. And you know what, we're gonna take the upper path this time here. Whoa, okay. Yeah. Even all the enemies in this stage are quite bulky as well, like, they deal a lot of damage, maybe not the Mimiras, but yeah, they do... Yeah, most of them do deal pretty good damage, and at the same time they can tank damage as well. Got him. Yeah, nice. Get him out of there. Hmm, oh, oh! Good, good, god goodness, goodness graciousness. Gotta be a little bit careful moving around in here so we don't spawn a whole bunch of enemies. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, I was doomed when I went down there. Hmm. Here I am actually quite glad we were playing as bass. Yeah, it makes this much easier. Nice. And we got an E-Tank out of going here. Okay. Nice. Very, very nice, and holy crap, dude. Nice, okay. Move ahead. Get out of here. No. <laughs> very, very nice, dude. I'm getting so lucky right now. So heckin' lucky. Whoa. Well... I should have refilled my health at the checkpoint, but what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh my! <laughs> what? The? Are you serious, dude? <laughs> I did not pay attention at all, obviously, but yeah. Okay, go. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Don't. Well, he shot me. That's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Nice! Just gotta be careful of where the grey boxes are here. Wow, okay. Do we even need that? Nyeh. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to pay attention here. Um, We totally could just fire some water down there. And then at the very least we don't have to be afraid of dipping our toes into the flames if we stand on the foot taller. But yeah, we're gonna try and not rely on it here. Nice. Okay, and... Nice. And get off. Okay, well... That was an interesting segment, and... Run! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Oh, this ain't great. Get the heck out of here. Uh... <laughs> it's like dodging Iceman, that pattern with the Mimida here. Except to take way less damage if you get it. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna die! Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I can only take one hit. Fuck it. We're using it. I'm not trusting myself. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, wait, wait. I would not have died from that. Okay, well, now I would have. 
been dead for sure. Yeah, a lot of tricky dodging sections in this level, like when it comes to enemies. Gimmicks as well, but you know, this level has less instant death than the other ones, but lots of hard hitting shit are thrown at you instead, so yeah. It makes up for it in that way, and holy crap, this is actually a threatening stone, man! <laughs> what the? An actual threatening stone man. I kind of wish I had my E tank now. Not gonna lie. Huh. Okay, you know what? Let me just shut up and focus here. I mean, I guess we could just. Okay, yeah, that's right. You can stand here as well. We're just gonna have to tippy toe around there. Whoops. Well, we're going even. Okay. Nice. Please jump over here. Thank you. Oh, he's gaining on me again. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Okay. Nice. He did a large jump there again. Okay. Nice. He gave me a very nice pattern there at the end. Ooh. Yeah, an actual threatening stone man. Who would have thought? Yeah, we're gonna give that one an upvote. And next... Instead of Inf <laughs> Instead of Inferno Man. Now that we have Inferno Man, who can we do? Hmm. Inferno Man is probably strong against Chemical Man or Chemical Man. So, yeah, we're gonna go in here in the next episode. <laughs> okay, nice segue. So, yeah, um, yeah, Inferno Man, uh, really cool stage, nice aesthetics, and yeah, it was nice uh, fighting for my life there. I kind of wish I had picked Proto Man instead, of, instead, honestly, like for that particular stage. You know, taking double damage, having to dodge a lot, while also having my shield for the Hot heads there could have been very interesting. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of wish I had pro picked him instead. Oh well, <laughs> not much I can do about it now. So, yeah, in the next stage we're gonna bring Roll to clean up the Chemical Man's lab. So yeah, see you then.